Shut up and sit down. Oh, I did want to do. I did want to do that. Shima. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. You want to do well, it real quick? All right, you guys might not get. Yeah, no, you guys aren't going to get volume. Um, yeah, I can still hear Neo. In the, in... Yeah, I'm actually about to uh, turn off Neo uh, audio to you guys. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. I'm just going to have it low. I have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. Texas, pump up these numbers. Well, like, subscribe, share. Anything what about you guys Texas? Texas? Don't mess with Texas. Shout out to Disinfecto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. what are we doing right now? <laughs> Ah, oh, so fucking cool. Yeah, really the heart love the aesthetic here. Since the very beginning. Moving this over to my big screen. You so can't have see. exploration if you don't have curiosity. Yeah, I would so definitely get this game. How can we let the island guide you? Is there a uh, the most predicted release date? Uh, I don't remember, but if there is, it will be at the end of this video. Because this is the most recent piece of media to come out on the game. So yeah, overworld map. The wind thing is kind of a cool function. Um, I mean, they're always looking for ways to remove things from your HUD, you know? So that... July. What? Yep. July 17th. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Continue. No, I was just saying with the wind stuff, they're always trying to pull things off of your HUD so that they're less crowded and they feels more immersive. So the wind thing fits thematically like perfectly. So I a also cool idea. I think a lot of what this game does is based on theme because another thing it's like gameplay based on theme. So you have like the wind mechanic there. And mm -hmm. then another thing they get to talk about later on is how your outfit uh affects your statistics and your mobility and stuff like that so it's like right. what was the th the thing about the wind mechanic what was it it's what basically it? what guides you to your objective or your marker yeah. on your map oh so when you see the the, the direction of it it mm -hmm. telling you what way to go okay yeah yeah there's little um explanation like tidbits of text down at the bottom left corner that'll pop up too during this that like indicator for like enemy detection is almost exactly the same as assassin's creeds yeah, yeah. right people fighting wildlife yeah right it's definitely an open world game I kind of hate uh, I, that they had to grab every like piece of crafting material that they rode by I feel like that's like referencing how important that might be. Yeah, maybe. I think it's also just showing you, uh, like, just telling you about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure, but to tell you about it, they only have to show it a couple of times. It's like, yeah, I think they're making a point to, to be like, you want to collect shit when you see it. Yeah. But what about the things that you don't also the fact that you can do it from the horse, you don't know exists. opposed mm -hmm. to having to get off and peeled for other pick it up things. and get back on the horse. On the horizons, interesting. Well, again, that's all you know. Streamlining, streamlining gameplay. Like, yeah. Which I like it. I, I think that's cool. Yeah. It's that. like you also, don't need to get off the horse and do like a hold X to grab plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. Also. Where are we putting this horse in the tier list of horses? Oof. I think Red Dead's still at the top. Red I Dead know, dude. pretty damn good. I mean, I, I'd i have to play it to know yeah. how, like how the feel is. The handling, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it looks good. Um, I haven't played Red Dead yet, but I've seen Red Dead horses do some crazy shit. Yeah. Like glitchy oh, shit, definitely, yeah. Definitely yeah. above yeah. Roach. He's above oh, Roach. Yeah. Um, but maybe not in personality, like but character. Yeah, yeah like... exactly. <laughs> um, 
This thing with the bird is cool, though, how it doesn't lead you to, like, objectives and stuff. I noticed that. I thought that was just, like, a bird happened to be flying by. I didn't realize it was... No, again, those little text things at the bottom left corner, I think it says it there. Um, yeah, it'll lead you to, like, side quests and stuff. It might just show up. Similar to how the fox kind of functions, leading you to, like, yeah, shrines yeah. and stuff. So, again, yeah, they're trying really to... like that. They're trying to embed as much stuff like into the game world as they can as far as mechanics. I also like how he passed that NPC that you could speak to, but he just mm -hmm. chose to like totally ignore it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, I wonder if there's like a... I mean, this is an open world game with a narrative in it. I'm assuming there's like a dialogue system. Whether or not there's dialogue choices, I don't know, but... I just feel like from like, like you could just totally be that person to like you could be like oh I'm too too mm -hmm. high to like even talk to you peasant I'm too like, high to even talk to you <laughs> too too noble <laughs> yeah I understood what you meant but hey dead guy <clears throat> oh look it's Neo now. Know. like a collectible. Yeah, um, I mean, it says it helps you open minor charm slots, apparently. Oh, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> something for stat buffs, assuming. It's Season also fast travel points. Discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tory gates that'll lead you to I'm curious how charm. big the actual world map is, to too. To it looks pretty know. large when you open the map in the beginning. Yeah, they didn't zoom out very far, sure though, so. Let the wind guide you. A lot of the animations uh, right look there. good. I'm sorry, but, but that's Horizon right there. Yeah. But Get that hat. Continue. I mean, no, it's I was going to say a lot right? of the animations look good, but some of them to me look a little rough still. I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking there, but I mean, this is from Sucker Punch, who did yeah, Infamous, yeah. which has had great animations. True. Did what? Infamous. Uh, the Infamous series. Oh yeah, Infamous is cool. Yeah, the facial animations, particularly in Second Sun, were really good. So you could see like the smoke, like that looks miles in the distance. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, like you can just you can go check that out. So. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. See, I we wish showed you some they had done a little bit more with the combat combo. here. I feel like they don't really explain. Like, parts how of the you're... combat system look cool to me, but I don't really understand how they're working. Parts of them look totally straightforward. We're just like slashing some dudes or whatever, but the like reaction moments where you kill somebody in like one slash and it goes into slow motion for a brief second. A I'm trying to figure to out respect. how that works. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. It's a standoff there at the bottom. I didn't notice that. Yeah. So maybe it's linked to this. It's almost like in Red yeah. Dead when you would do duels. Right. Yeah, I didn't see all these prompts. It said, like, a hold button there. So there's also those circles at the bottom left corner that I'm trying to figure out. He's not yeah, using the L1, R1. But they are flashing. Let me just and run that going. back. I don't know. Because, like, move. this doesn't seem like... This seems like a special kind of instance, whereas it's not how the full combat system works. It's like, this is a specific... Thing you can trigger yeah because to me this is the coolest part of the, the combat yeah well, i definitely enjoy, like the stealth gameplay yeah you're gonna get to i felt like felt more familiar and contextually made sense <laughs> oh yeah chiburi oh chiburi oh Moving we missed blood we blood missed blade. what zach said about the horse too everywhere on this island Said the horse needs to climb cliffs to be better than the red dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, no wasted energy. Every strike must count. It's the crazy. The bow. The sound of the bow. Yeah, the bow feels so much different than the one in Neo. So that was cool. But like here, it's more straightforward with like what you're doing in combat. It's right, clearly it's... not functioning the same way as that first part. 
Still have that meter down below, though. God, I just want that guy to fall in half. <laughs> yeah. Lost an arm. That was pretty sick. Yeah, but I this, know. This, like, fighting here is totally what reminded me of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, this is more of what we've seen in other games. Yeah. I mean, those, the death animations and stuff are cool, depending on where you hit them. Um, but that first standoff thing was just so cool. I just wanted them to explain, like... What happens when? Bowing. Yeah, no, I agree. Unjin the ghost. Yeah, this is cool. He's saying, Zach was saying maybe the little bar under the circles okay. has so to fill up for like an ultimate, same. kind of. That was my I thought as well. Because those one hit kills on maybe are a little OP, but the ghost if you need like really good timing for them, then even they the wouldn't be. So, even I but also, I they mentioned in the gameplay that See, they. Yeah. It gives you the option there to do the standoff thing again. Sorry, I went back too far. I saw that, yeah. A dishonorable ghost. When he's approaching the ghost, them, he'll use every dirty trick. Yeah, he, he gets the prompt. Even the odds. Even using fear. As yeah, a I see that up on the D pad. Mm hmm. Classic throwing the rock to distract them. It's a little chime this time. I think he uses firecrackers later, too. Yeah. yeah. It even says assassinate. <laughs> yeah. One of them, when he, yeah, the right, next part, it, he, um, when he, there's like the two guys, one of them says assassinate, the other one says slaughter. Oh. Huh. That might be almost like a, uh, Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War function. Because there was like, you could kill enemies stealthfully in that, or you could do a stealth kill where it's like just brutal and it's meant to intimidate like other enemies around that guy well, that, you're they, that makes sense they say something yeah. before about um yeah using fear fighting terror or whatever yeah. they say and see and they also have cool. the chain assassinate i yeah. love those functions just super yeah. cinematic this game is gonna look beautiful and that's what i think this game is gonna do better than assassin's creed and like you said you know I, I don't think we can argue that this game right here. Sorry, but the slaughter thing. Yeah, you know, the guy well, on the right. The other guy was like a higher ranking. He's like a Mongol officer or something, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And now it's his oh, critical okay. strike. Yeah, before so when it wasn't even lethal, it was like. Yeah, it's almost like in Assassin's Creed when you have. An enemy that's too strong to assassinate, you would instead do like a critical kind of strike on him. Yeah. The Mongols yeah, will learn so to fear the ghost. Use that to your advantage. Yeah. I think what what I'm getting at is like, yeah, this game definitely borrows mechanics. Like it, almost entirely, all its mechanics are borrowed from other games. Yeah, um, I wanted to talk about that too because it's like that's an emerging trend now, like talking about Fallen Order, which we were just playing, obviously. It borrows right. almost all of its mechanics from other games, but it does make them its own. And, yeah. uh, I mean, it keeps it interesting. It doesn't feel like a ripoff because they've, like, done it well. And they've, like, again, they've made them their own. And they've right. taken, like, not the, maybe not necessarily the obvious things that you would stick together. They've taken, like, picked little things that they as game designers knew would work together. Right. But I think this game will like, I don't know, bring the, bring that cinematic quality and like, whereas it has a lot of gameplay mechanics similar to <laughs> Assassin's Creed. So good. Yeah. You're getting, you're getting that authentic vibe of, of Japan. Yeah. And of the samurai or the ninja. Like, I mean, you can literally like pray to your fucking fallen opponent. Yeah, like, yeah. That is the most fucking samurai thing. Uh, yeah, but I you mean, don't even, you don't have to. You can go this route and be more of like the ninja route. Right. Too. So it's cool that it gives you that option. It's not even like a gameplay thing. It's like role playing. Yeah, you know? I think I think this will totally let me fulfill my fucking. Weeb dreams, like <laughs> that while fighting as the samurai, 
or sneaking around this too like Jin had on a different set of armor getting to customize my outfits and wear a fucking like straw fucking cape mechanical mm -hmm. advantages it's not just the way it looks oh yeah it helps accent your chosen play style as you explain like more, yeah i feel like even like like you saw like some, some of the scabbards were just different colors and stuff like i want to know how that all mm -hmm. translates and stuff like that yeah i wonder if it's like actually breaking down components of the sword itself or you're just customizing the like overall which sword you're using right you know techniques evolve i mean there wasn't i mean you you had your blade always worth typically for dye flowers fashion new subas onto your blade the color of an so you can so not only do armor dying how the ghost yeah. gameplay evolves but you can Zach says that the he well. likes how the enemies will will get terrified and yeah yeah oh, totally agree yeah see that's again kind of a borrowed mechanic from Shadows uh, of Mortar. Yeah. Which I never played, so you pointing that out, like, I was... really liked that game. A lot, a lot of people lot really of did. Sucker Punch game if yeah. You have photo mode. <laughs> and our new photo mode See, has features such as color grading. I can't help but feel like, because again, so a lot of these mechanics are borrowed from other stuff, I can't help but feel like I've kind of played this game before. So that was kind of what led me to, like, maybe not be as excited as other people about this. Uh, until I saw the stuff at the end. And it leads into what you were talking about. Like, it's going to be the, like, the feel of it. And, like, the tone so it sets, the visual video, style. Video, that's what really video. drew yeah. me. Like, like I said to you guys, the black and white windy mode, that's yeah. the thing I was most excited about out of everything like, I saw in this. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to complain that it's cookie cutter fucking gameplay. I think we talked about no. um, yeah. it potentially being like a Far Cry-esque thing where you have these like uh, cookie cutter missions laid out before you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Japanese voice track, and it maybe, and it might be that I think it, it probably so might lean towards that. But if I can still turn this like on. throw the bl the blood off my blade like that after mm -hmm. every engagement, I'm yeah, I'm in, I'm all in, <laughs> like yeah. And they yeah. have the the neo option here, like where you were, uh, you could put on the Japanese voice track with subtitles. Oh yeah, I thought that's the only way to play. Yeah, yeah well, it's interesting because it's coming out of you know, uh, neo came out of a Japanese studio, so the original voice track was Japanese. Yeah, um, it was uh, Team Ninja. Um, here at Sucker Punch, but, we're huge fans of Samurai Cinema. Um, to they did it like backwards here. To feel like you're playing. Yeah, well, it's coming out of Sucker Punch is American, right? They're so not European. Windy, I think, yeah, they're definitely Western. We could just say yeah. Western yeah. Yeah. studio. From the very beginning of the game. English speaking, primarily uh, studio. <laughs> so, um, this is so cool, dude. Yeah, oh, they're they're from Washington. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the thing that has me most excited, is just this yeah. style. Like, that looks yeah. amazing right there. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> okay. How good. I'm almost, and this is me being a little shit, but I'm almost a little disappointed that they didn't make the bold move of this being the game, and, like, you didn't even have the option for friggin' color. <laughs> like, this was it. Yeah. Well, I oh, look at I, that. <laughs> yeah. I had a similar thought, to be honest. I was like, like, why would I even play the game in color? With yeah. this? When it I looks like that? Like, I was like, but this looks fucking awesome, too. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Saturation and... The island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai. Yeah, it's... it's a, I think... A ghost. I think, yeah, we've Customized played, we've gym. definitely played this game before, but... Right. In special ways. In different like, parts, different pieces. Yeah, it, but never have we played it to such an authentic degree of a Japanese swordsman. Sure, right. And I think so it's like today. We'll see you later. If that's what you're looking for, yeah. Then yeah. Akira Kurosawa, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I've Kurosawa. never played um, like any sort of Japanese samurai swordsman style game. It's the style of game is my kind of game. Yeah. So right from a gameplay it, standpoint. Yeah. Or, so yeah. I'm pr I'm pretty stoked about it because I, I always I mean I love that sort of thing too. Samurai well, and whatnot. For Honor, which I thought was like 
kind of had a pretty good combat system. Um, I didn't like For Honor. The combat system was weird. Yeah, but it it, it got old quick, I think. But um, I don't know, dude. Like this, I I've I've practiced the katana, so it's like <laughs> yeah. I need to fucking play this game. I need to yeah. buy a PlayStation Pro now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's is it it's exclusive, right? Oh well, yeah, it's, it's yeah. fucking Absolutely something it is. Just like infamous. Um so I'm wondering I I probably I thought about because of this going for a PS4 Pro. But mm-hmm. um Zach said they better not make the black and white version a new game plus thing. It's just if you want it, Zach. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure yeah, it's from the beginning. Yeah, that would that be a dick move. Really, yeah, that I'm, that wouldn't really even make sense to see put if it as if, game e, plus. if EA was publishing this game, you'd have to pay 199 for black and white mode, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pre order bonus. Pre order, but oh god, I'm gonna um, gag a little bit. But no, I'll probably actually end up just going for a ps5 at this point and like waiting waiting yeah. on this game a little bit and once i would PS5 imagine yeah the ps5 is going to be like they said backwards compatible with over 100 titles at launch i'm imagining they're going to prioritize they already confirmed this for being ps5 is it going to be um backwards compatible or they're dual they're developing it for both consoles like cyberpunk as far yeah, it's that. They're optimizing it for Both PS5. Times. Okay. Yeah. Shit. I mean, uh-huh. I might even wait then. I mean, I say that. I probably won't, but I might even wait for the PS5 version. But yeah, I saw like a PS4 for like a hundred bucks on Let Go, and I was like, fuck. I can get that yeah. right now. Like gun to battle <laughs> operation. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't even have to pay for that game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But holy shit, am I excited for this game? Yeah, uh, it does look really cool. It is, like I said, seems to be built up of familiar parts, but that's really not a problem. Um, it wasn't a problem in Jedi Fallen Order, and I don't think it's going to be a problem in this. They both have their own identity enveloping right. those mechanics, you know? Like, je- part of why Jedi Fallen Order works so well is because they nailed the Star Wars feel so well. Right, and they're exactly. Appear, it appears nailing the like classic samurai film uh you know like feel here too so yep yep very excited definitely looking forward to seeing more mm-hmm. um, june june's right around the corner we should be seeing yeah. a bunch of info this from is sooner than you might even think yeah there we go are right, yeah. you mind with the cat yeah, but that's my porta nova out. nice meeting you uh, you know Social distancing, Zach. We can't hug the teddy bear. Like, we're not allowed on set yet. It's kind of shitty. <laughs> Even Colin being right next door isn't allowed on the set yeah, yet. I, I, I'm across the country, so. Yeah, well, you're unable to be on the set. Yeah, but hopefully August. August, I'll be back in New York. Mm-hmm. Hopefully by then we'll be back on set. And yeah. getting back content wanna, as usual. Yes, I want to do videos actually physically together again yeah i know i know but until then zach thanks for hanging out thanks for chatting cat uh everybody else we're gonna wrap this stream up but make sure you're following make sure you're subscribed and liked upvotes upvotes for cat get the bell on the dog in the beginning so check out the archive (laughs) got animals Um, over here for hit people Oh, he's freaking out now. He wants to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks yep. for hanging out while we played Neo and uh, reacted to Ghost of Tsushima. Ali is the best. Indeed, he is an awesome cat. I agree. Thanks. All right, agree. everybody. All right, Zach, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you <laughs> on the next one. Everyone else, keep it real. All right, y'all. Thanks again. Have a good Later. night. Bye-bye. And goodbye. Oh, <laughs> my